Christy Barchi. I am a working mom of two, and over the years I've um, enjoyed cooking ever since I was a young girl with my grandmother and with my mom. Um, I like to try new recipes, but like to have a few standbys to cook on weekdays and when there's not a lot of time. So today I'm going to be making a pistachio basil spinach butter over salmon, which takes no time at all once you have um, the butter made. So I often do that in advance with a double batch and have it in the freezer. So all you need to do is have salmon and you're ready to go. First all you do is lightly spray a glass baking dish and then I'm going to put the salmon in the dish and cover it with the wine. Just use any um, white wine that you want to get rid of or that you have around and then stick it in a 400 degree oven for about 15 minutes. So first I um, do a double batch like I mentioned so that I have leftovers. Um, so I'm going to take a stick of butter, put that in, and then add basil and spinach and garlic. Okay, and then you also add half a cup of pistachios and the juice of about two limes. Okay, so it, you might have to push it down a couple times to get it thoroughly blended, but when it's done, what I'm going to do now is put some away for a later time. Um, so I'm just going to scoop some out, put it in saran wrap, and I make it into a log, which makes it easy to be able to cut later, even when it's in the freezer. You don't have to thaw it out. You just can slice from it based on how many people you need to accommodate. So I'm going to scoop some out. And then I just kind of roll it. Presentation for this isn't important. It's just getting it usable. So I'll just roll it. And then I stick it into a Ziploc bag. And I'll throw it in the freezer. This will probably do about three or four more dinners. Um, and I even had a friend the other night who called me up and he asked me for the recipe and I um, gave some to her so she could use it that night for her husband. So um, it's easy to share with friends. Um, so, okay, so now I'm going to take the salmon out of the oven and add this to the salmon and then stick it back in for about five more minutes to complete the dish. Then you just add the pistachio spread on top of the salmon. Do it as much or as little as you think people would enjoy. If it comes out of the freezer, it'll probably take a little bit longer and it won't spread as easily until it's been in the oven for a little bit, but you'll know um, when it's done as it starts to melt a little bit. Now I'm going to put it back in the oven for about three to five minutes um, just to get the um, butter hot and to finish the cooking of the salmon. Just take it out of the oven. That's good. And then just slice it in the portion that you want. Well done.